What's up everybody? This is Body Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and this tutorial is going to be about sequencing your layers and other things that uh, can help you with editing your layers. So pretty much it's editing your layers. So I'm going to start off with uh, sequencing and what that does is cr puts your uh, layers into sequential order in the timeline and it's good for s such things as uh, creating um, creating slideshows or if you're kind of like editing your footage inside After Effects to be a little quicker then you can do it that way also and it even creates things like uh, cross dissolves and stuff so what I'm gonna do first is just select a few um, images here and I'm just gonna drop them down into the timeline and they all overlap on top of each other now I want all these to be on the screen for one second actually I'll do two seconds how many do I have one two three four five six alright so that's long enough so around two seconds there now I'm, you have to click on your first one and in whatever order you start clicking it's going to sequence them in, in that order so if I just shift click on the bottom it's just gonna do this so right click and then come up here to keyframe assistant and then come over here to sequence layers and I'm gonna uncheck overlap for now and I'm gonna hit OK and now you can see what I'm talking about what it does so it's it started the tuna uh, one first and then the McChicken one which I selected last was at the end so I'm gonna hit control Z now if I decide to con hold control and click on random ones watch how it sequences the layers there you go but it's still a continuous it's going to be all continuous <clears throat> now it's rendering I hit uh, the RAM preview button but I'll just uh, I'll just um, go across on the screen and you can see that they go in in sequence there. All right, I'm going to hit Control Z to go back. I'm going to turn off this sequencing text. Now, if you want to add crossfades and things like that, let's go back up to sequence layers, and you click on this overlap here, and you can have a few different transitions: dissolve the front layer, you can, or you can cross dissolve both of them together, which um, I usually think looks better. So let's, um, you can select how long it takes to crossfade them. And um, let's try, since we're 24 frames a second, maybe like, how about 12 frames maybe? <clears throat> yeah, that might, that might be decent. So if I do a ramp review, you can see what's going on there. It crosses all for us. And uh, that's how you make easy slideshows. No need to really use um, like PowerPoint anymore. If I select these and I hit U to bring up all the keyframes, you can see what's going on here. The opacity of these is changed. It puts opacity keyframes in there for you. All right. Now I'll just show you what it does when you use the uh, the other option when um, dissolve front layer. So we'll do that. Now if we hit U again to show the keyframes, you can see it only dissolves the top, and you can that's this is how it looks. I mean, you don't really want to use that for slideshows. I think it it looks stupid. Now, instead of just dragging all your footage into the comp here, you can um, create a comp and have the sequence layer uh, menu come up. So if I have these selected and I click and drag them onto this new comp here, now we have the chance to create a single composition with, um, with the uh, sequence layers down here. 
So you pick which uh, you pick which picture you want the comp to use its dim d uh, dimensions from. So I'll take this McDouble one. I think that was the biggest. Now if I cl click on sequence layers, now I can have them uh, cross dissolve. And I open up this new comp and it already makes it. There you go. It already makes it so that I can sequence the layers. And it does it until the end of the comp, which is nice. So that's it for sequencing your layers. Pretty easy, pretty handy. Um, use it mostly with uh, slideshows or if you're editing uh, footage. So use that next time you need to do any of that stuff. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next tutorial. See you later.